Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's been making news. The story behind this vandalised painting. Super Bowl celebrations. And a sloth rescue. Before we get started, why not hit that subscribe button? The security guard at a museum in Russia who gave this painting eyes with a pen has been suspended from his job. It's the latest update in a pretty strange tale of vandalism. Here's Leela. Now here we have the painting Three Figures. It dates back to the 1930s and depicts three torsos and heads with hair but no facial features. Um, what about the eyes? What eyes? <gasps> Oh no, who could have done this? What? The real story behind this defaced, or rather faced, $1.3 million painting has attracted attention around the world. Back in December, a security guard working his first day at a museum in Russia was caught adding what he thought was some much needed eyes to this painting using a ballpoint pen. It took the story a few months to come out, but now the museum says the guard has been suspended and is actually facing prison over the vandalism. Quite a few famous artworks have been vandalised before. Like when somebody threw acid on the Mona Lisa back in 1956. The same year, someone threw a rock at it, damaging the painting. Afterwards, the Louvre placed a bulletproof glass around the Mona Lisa to better protect it. That's a lesson this museum learned too. It's now placed protective screens over the remaining works. As for the painting, it's getting restored and the damage is minor, which is lucky. We have learnt afterwards the ballpoint pen is one of the most dangerous weapons that can threaten the painting. Australia's largest coal-fired power plant looks like it's going to be shut down early. Origin Energy wants to close the plant in New South Wales Hunter Valley in 2025. That's seven years ahead of schedule. The company says it wants to move away from coal power and focus on renewables and gas. The station is the biggest of Australia's 16 remaining coal plants. The last one is set to close by 2051. Super Bowl celebrations are still going on in the US. Here's Amal with that and more in sport. Yeah, since winning the Super Bowl, celebrations for the LA Rams have been pretty much non-stop. Fans have gathered for a special parade to mark the occasion. I'm really, really happy to experience this and be here and be in LA, you know. Even Hollywood's iconic signs have been temporarily changed in honour of the Rams, which of course calls for a selfie. Nice, nice, get those angles. Ooh, okay, a little wink, interesting choice. But you know what they say, it's not all about winning. The Rams beat us out, okay. But it's about the game. <laughs> Nicely said, pal. On your mark, get set, go! These guys and their doggy pals in the UAE are competing in the country's first ever candy cross. You know, like cross country, but with your canine. Pets and their owners have to cover the 6.5 kilometre course together. We like to see happy people, happy dogs, and actually want to see people and dogs working together. Well, that and winning. All right, so we're just going to go... <laughs> that was all right. From time to time, we all need a little help from our friends, and animals are no different. And, and skeletons, and you too, yeah. In Colombia, this sloth has obviously mistaken an electricity line for a tree. Either that or it knew exactly what it was doing. A local worker had to offer a little help, involving a broom. 20 minutes later, the sloth was down safe and returned to the wild. Off the coast of Maui, an animal rescue group had the difficult job of freeing a tangled whale. It took them six hours to remove 168 metres of fishing line, which was wrapped around the whale's head and pectoral flippers. Once free, the mama whale and her calf set off again safely. And finally, these pigs in Mexico have no shortage of friends. When they were just two days old, they were rescued by local authorities who decided to put them up in a pen by the beach. Every day at noon, they get a chance to dig around in the sand and meet tourists, turning them into local celebrities. They've even named the beach Pig Beach after them. 
Yeah, they really called it Pig Beach. Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. OK, now what you want to do is uh, keep your knees bent just a little bit. Oh. oh, and before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. <laughs> Ready to go? All right. <clears throat> bend your knees and let's go. Oh, 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 no.